A year ago, I made a hummingbird feeder heater, and it became a prototype, even though I only needed one, because it obviously had some issues, and I need to remake it. I basically took a reflector from one of these type flashlights, which basically, since there's no recycle codes on them, they're garbage. I took the reflector, I put in some resistors, circuit board, wire coming out. This wire eventually would get all the way inside to a wall wart of which I had different sizes. So here's the basic calculations. I used 2.2 ohm resistors with rated at 2 watts. Now the original design was for a 7.5 volt uh, DC power supply. I believe that was this one here. Yep. And it would put out 0.57 amps because I used six resistors. Now 2.2 ohms times 0.57 amps, 1.25-ish uh, watts per resistor, 7.5 watt total output. It should have been fairly close to being good, and nothing was being over too badly. Then uh, I had a backup of a 9 volt in case it got uh, cold, and all I'd do is I'd clamp on um, well, basically the wall wart. Uh, that worked out to be 0.68 amp. So pushing 1.5 watts per resistor, that's, they're going to get start getting a bit warm. But we had a very cold uh, snap. And to keep it liquid, the hummingbird feeder food liquid, uh, that is, I used the 12 volt, and I knew I was pushing it. That works out to be 0.91 amps per, well, total which works out to be 2.002 .002 watts, meaning 2 watts, which equals toasty resistors. And the total output power was 12 watts. So needless to say, need to redo this, but how do I solve the problem? Either add more resistors, or something I saw on the web that was actually a pretty good idea, is if it gets really cold, you take a sock or a piece of towel, wrap it around the bottle part, and there will be a picture of it shortly. So I pried this apart using a screwdriver, and now it's time to just simply snip out the old resistors, drop in some new ones, uh, I'm going to probably upgrade that uh, 51 ohm resistor for the LED. I'll probably stick in something around 100 ish. Uh, the LED is just to make sure I know like it's turned on. Okay, get to work on it, which is boring, so I'm not going to actually film that. There, the leads are being snipped off. I just have to desolder them now. You have to remember, though, when you're snipping off leads, to always put your finger over it, snip, because these things can come off at a very high speed, and you should be wearing safety glasses. And I think they even print that, use safety glasses. You've only got two eyes, so protect them. Uh, next, I'll just desolder, and then stick the new resistors on. So it's all now reassembled with some nice new resistors. You can feel a tiny bit of heat on there. Cleaned it up a bit. Uh, this was really old uh, circuit board to start with. So it basically was twist the wires together and uh, then put a bit of solder on. I changed the resistor going over to the LED to 180, uh, just to drop the current a bit. Uh, not that it matters much. Not on this type of circuit. But the LED will last longer now. I did do a quick check on all of these. Oops. 
on all of these. And even though they're all toasty, uh, they're all about 2.2 ohms. So, but get rid of them, wear and tear. Now I'll just reassemble this when I take it outside uh, to remount it. I'll just uh, heat shrink, uh, well solder and then heat shrink this outside. And uh, to get this inside, I actually run this through a window, uh, like one of those windows that close like this. And uh, essentially it pushes down, uh, but with the foam insulation type stuff, um, it actually seals it nicely and it doesn't damage the wires. So the hummingbird this winter will have nice warm food. And if it gets really cold, I'll put a sock over the glass part. Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is how do I attach this to the hummingbird uh, feeder? I actually take a wire, wire, stick it in here. I think it's 12 gauge, it's uh, or 14 gauge um, electrical wiring for the home, where I've just stripped uh, the sleeve off of it. And I just take it there, I take it up, and I wrap it around. You'll see in the picture with the hummingbird, there's little arms that come across, and I just attach it to those. So it's easy to remove, especially when I have to then empty the, or refill the feeder. So here it is now reinstalled. You'll see how the little um, holes there, I just use the wire, put it in, wrap it around. And it holds on quite nicely. It's not designed to be watertight. Actually at the bottom there is a hole and the whole idea is the water flows through and out. It doesn't accumulate in it because yeah don't want water piling up in there. And since it's all low voltage it won't make much difference if it gets a bit wet in there.